the Bahrain Authority have taken a serious repressive action in order to punish uh, decent and constrained basic human rights of anyone who disagree with the government. Uh, we have not seen such a rapid increase in human rights violation since the pro-democracy movement in 2011. In May this year, Sheikh Ali Salman, the Secretary General of Al Wafaq, the main opposition group in Bahrain, uh, had his prison sentence more than doubled for peaceful speeches he made critical of the government. His sentence was increased from four years to, to nine years. Following this in June, we saw the spiritual leader of Al Wafaq, Sheikh Zakasim, have his nationality arbitrarily stripped. Of what what is going on in Bahrain? These are uh, uh, opposition groups asking for more political space, or uh, is there a religious component? Unfortunately, however, we have now for a year not seen any joint statements on Bahrain or any other type of collective action at the Human Rights Council to address the situation in Bahrain. And I believe it's no coincidence that in this year where there's been a lack of international scrutiny and a lack of scrutiny by the UN's main body for human rights that we have seen the deterioration in the situation that has been described by my fellow panelists. And I don't need to repeat the violations we've heard about against human rights defenders, opposition, and she had clarity.